Hi everyone. Welcome to In Conversation with Dr. Chavi. She's a chief medical officer with over 27 years of experience. Today, we'll be talking all things related to PCOS. Thank you and I'm very happy to be here to talk about a very important topic for all female clients and that's PCOS. So, go ahead. Question 1. What is PCOS? PCOS is characterized by three features as outlined by the Rotterdam criteria. The first of it is uh, irregular menstrual cycles and uh, women see up to about 2 um, to 3 months between their menstrual cycles the second feature is seeing multiple tiny cysts and the periphery of the ovary which is an important feature of PCOS and number 3 is features of androgenism what does that mean that means high hormonal levels of certain hormones that cause you to have um, uh, nodular acne or hair loss um hirsutism which is hair growing in abnormal places so these are all signs of hyperandrogenism and two out of these three should be present for it to be classified as PCOS question 2 What is the difference between PCOS and PCOD? Actually, PCOS and PCOD are the same thing. So let me elaborate. It. PCOS is polycystic ovarian syndrome and PCOD is polycystic ovarian disease and there is absolutely no difference between the two. They are one and the same. Question 3. Is there a link between PCOS and diabetes? Absolutely, and a great question to ask. So in this uh Uh, hyperandrogenism and the uh, excess uh, estrogen that is a feature of uh, PCOS we also see insulin resistance which is basically high levels of insulin at fasting for any individual because the body's sensitivity to use insulin to metabolize sugars has been worn off this insulin resistance is actually seen in mostly overweight obese pcos clients and this leads them to have a uh, uh, issue with their glucose metabolism and that can lead to prediabetes and diabetes so yes they are very linked and all pcos clients should watch for the fasting insulin levels and work with their lifestyles so their glucose metabolism is uh, well maintained question 4 is pcos reversible what is your take on it pcos is um, a lifestyle disorder in a lot of cases and when something is a lifestyle disorder it is very much reversible So PCOS uh, is many types is type A B C and D A is the most intense or the worst PCOS and D is the most uh, relatable with normal day to day and can easily be missed kind of PCOS but it is there when people work on their lifestyle especially for overweight and obese PCOS patients they can easily move from stage A or type A to type C or D which is major improvement and sometimes all features of PCOS also go away so in my experience i have seen that people who work on lifestyles can reverse PCOS thank you doctor that was a very detailed answer i'm sure you've learned a lot from your expert insights i'm extremely happy that we discussed a very important topic of PCOS today and uh, until next time